Horses are not skeletally mature until around five years of age, but commonly their racing careers begin when they're only two due to the lure of higher prize money and a quicker return on investment. This drastically increases the risk of injuries, with up to 80% suffering from shin soreness or dorsal metacarpal disease. Post-race examinations have found a high prevalence of blood in the horse's windpipes and lungs, along with an increasing frequency and severity of stomach ulcers as training and racing progressed. On the track, they are painfully whipped to encourage greater speeds. Race rules limit whipping in the earlier stages of the race, but in the last 100 meters when the horses are fatigued and less able to respond, there are no limits and they are often whipped relentlessly until the finish line. Jumps racing is statistically 19 times more dangerous than flat racing, with violent falls a regular occurrence. Roughly half of the horses involved in jumps races each year in Australia disappear, quietly exiting the industry in unknown circumstances, never to race or be heard from again, or killed on track with green screens erected to obscure the view of racegoers. Nationally, 11 to 12,000 racing horses are newly registered each year, while roughly the same number leave the industry, largely as a result of poor performance, unsuitable temperaments, or injuries. Many of these end up at knackeries, where they are killed for pet food or to feed racing greyhounds. Others end up at one of two licensed horse abattoirs that export horse meat for human consumption. Horses are also used in rodeos.